There was definitely a burnout. VLHCKA case Jenny Kim reveals rap pressures. VLHCKPAN case Jenny Kim suffered burnout after taking on the rap responsibilities in the group. The 27-year-old singer revealed she was unhappy with her role in the group and struggled with the responsibility of being the rapper. During a conversation on Dua Lipa's At Your Service podcast, Dua asked her, I know one of the reasons you became a rapper is because you spoke English, so you got assigned the rap parts and you've obviously really grown into that rap role in B-L-H-C-K-I-N-K. It's something that the fans love you for. What comes over you when you do the second verse rap in D-D-U-D-U-D-D-U-D-U? You know, it's like it's like watching you become an entirely different person. Jenny replied, I've never really said this anywhere, but I've wanted to. After our gambut, we did like six songs where I would just rap like, seriously rap, and along the way, I kind of got confused because I came to see that there's a big side of me inside that loves to sing, but I actually never had the chance to really explore that as a trainee because I got told that I should be a rapper, you know? So there was a phase where I would hate to rap. I was like, this isn't me, like, this isn't the journey that I envisioned in my head, like, I don't think I'm a rapper. So there was definitely a burnout. Jenny also revealed that getting into the group was a lot of hard work. She said, I have actually never really broken down how I did it, but the people who knew the importance of keeping their own identity and character within the training system are the people that are in the group right now. A lot of people got lost on the way because we were so focused to satisfy the people that we were working with, but we weren't sure who we were doing it for and how it can identify us in the future. Because it's literally years of training, it's not just a couple of hours. So you get really drawn into the lifestyle that they put us in. From BTS Suga to BLHCKINK's Jenny, here are five rappers ruling the K-pop world. And you and BAI, K-pop was always a unique genre, but it spread like wildfire after the introduction of BTS to the world. K-pop wasn't the only thing to boom, but along with that, we also got to see the increase in K-drama content viewership skyrocketing. The audience worldwide seems to be finding and exploring something, and as a result, K-pop came to them as a gem. K-pop consists of a lot of genres either standing alone in tracks or bringing to us a mixed bouquet of genres packed in one bunch, placed smartly. From silent melodies to bangers that will force you dance even on streets, K-pop artists are showing potential to cater to the need of every type of listener, no matter what their mood. Artists have really opened up a whole new world of lyrics, be it with the depth of meaning in the lyrics or the swag and confidence in the lyrics. BTS, BLATKINK, EXO, GOT7, TWACE, and many more groups came and rocked it completely at the charts. However, we are here with a specific element of the K-pop tracks that build up and pass on a lot of energy to its listeners, which is rap. Rappers and singers now have a whole new level of respect, and while we appreciate a lot of singers for the type of voice they have, we think it's time we appreciate rappers for the control they have on their words and the flow they have on the tune of their lyrics. So below are the names of top five rappers who ruled or are still ruling the hearts of the fans. Check it out.